Hello everybody, uh, today what I'm going to be doing is a speed run uh, through this uh, painting here. I'm going to try my best uh, to create a master study uh, of Richard Diebenkorn's work here from 1959, Interior with Book, uh, this oil on canvas. So I'm using an image uh, that I grabbed from the internet uh, of this work and I'm going to do my best to try to recreate this and talk all of you through my process when looking at this work. So. A couple first things I noticed here is that there is blue uh, that is coming through the painting um, in different spots, and I believe that either the furthest layer uh, of this painting was probably a middle tone uh, kind of blue, and then everything's kind of this additive process here for Demon Core. Just based off of what I'm looking at here, I can see lots of layers of paint thinly applied and, and a little bit more thick applied, so what I'm going to do... Uh, to get going here, and I'm going to try to keep this achromatic black, white, and gray, is I'm going to put down a large area of this middle tone gray uh, first. So I'm just going to put a bunch of that down. So my my piece of paper here uh, in my iPad and Procreate uh, no longer looks like it's the stark white. So I'm going to lay that down first. Um, my second move here of what I'm going to do is try to find the darkest areas of my work, uh, of this work here by Richard Diemencorn. So for me, the darkest areas are this chair underneath this table, potentially this other chair here, that rectangle. Got some darker values in here. Uh, but then we have this like ceiling of the interior space. Um, so these, these areas are uh, a lot darker. So I'm going to try to throw those down uh, in my work here as well. So I'm going to get a little bit darker of a gray here um, and I'm gonna quickly place where I believe those things will end up being so again I'm just working quickly uh, but I'm trying to talk to all of you about my process of when I am studying work uh, in this way and what am I what am I looking at uh, exactly so I'm gonna kind of just place some things really roughly uh, in here I'm gonna place that get the ceiling in here um, and then I'm going to put this chairs in this space somewhere. Um, so we'll get more accurate with this as I move along. But I'm just kind of speed, just going like kind of quickly. Um, I like to use master studies as sketching uh, for other works um, and to kind of learn from these things by, by the act of looking really intently at these uh, works. So there's also a darker area outside this window um, that I see of the landscape there. Okay, and now my next step is I'm going to look for uh, some of the lighter areas. I'm going to start to adjust, so I'm going to grab a much lighter uh, sort of charcoal here, and I'm going to focus in on some of the, what I believe to be the lighter areas in this work. So this table for sure, a lot lighter. I'm just going to sketch that in as well. Uh, we've got this beautiful area here of the landscape that seems to be in full kind of spotlight there by the sun. Outside, we've got this outer area as well. I'm just going to kind of lay that stuff in there. Kind of put that down. Um, okay, and then we've got a little highlight on this chair, which I'm going to have to adjust. Got a cup on the table. Got this book, a uh, little plate over on the side as well. Um, and then now what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to try to go in and readjust some of the angles and lines uh, for some of these shapes and forms that I see. So I'll highlight these uh, in a bright color here so all of you can kind of see what I'm going to do. I'm going to be looking for these diagonals um, because these are the things that really help set up the objects uh, in this space. So these horizontals and diagonals uh, that we have here that help put all of these shapes in this room uh, and also the interior versus the exterior uh, kind of moment that really creates a structure uh, of this work. So I'm going to try to quickly uh, place those things in there. So I'm going to, uh, with a quite a bit darker uh, pencil, but I'm going to use a smaller brush size. I'm just going to quickly kind of place in where, where I believe those things are um, because I'm going to adjust this stuff as we go later. Kind of, let's see, this right in there roughly kind of put that in there let's see if I can how far I can get in like 10 minutes so we're about at the five minute mark right now so I'm just kind of speed doing this quickly so I'm gonna put this chair in here uh, as well 
arms of the chair. How these things kind of come down and wrap around. And again, I'm just doing this as fast as I can because I want to see uh, how accurate I can kind of place these things in here. So put that in there. Um, we've got this underneath the table situation, and then I've already decided too that this other chair I'm gonna have to move all this over. Um, so I'm going to take my I'm gonna smudge this out kind of, and I'm gonna move this all over. Um, I'm gonna move blend all this down, and then I'm gonna make some other adjustments here. So I'm gonna actually go like this, but the chair leg is there comes down to here roughly, that table is going across, and then I've got this chair, whatever this rectangle is here, I believe it's probably a chair, I'm going to adjust this stuff as I go. So this is all floor, got this kind of angle of this table, this is a little bit darker as well. So we're making some mistakes, but we're moving forward. All right, I'm gonna kinda adjust some stuff back here as well. Take my eraser tool, pull some of this stuff out, get this to be a little brighter as it is. Can be adjusted as well. It's fun to do digitally. Um, obviously, if you've got other analog materials and stuff wherever you are or at your home, uh, you know, rely on those things as well. Um, but we're gonna get this uh, put in here. This table's kind of sitting in there. There's a book on this table. Just gonna sort of place this in here. So I'm trying to as well make some purposeful. Uh, marks that I'm going to talk about here that are actually quite a bit off and as far as their accuracy because I want to have a moment here to chat about these things. Um, so one thing I notice is there's some serious uh, things that are going to have to change as far as the the floor in this space and uh, other other areas too which we'll talk about here in just a second. So landscape a little bit so I'm noticing one thing like the back of this chair actually has to come up quite a bit I'm gonna bring that up I'm just gonna bring that arm down the arm of this chair doesn't really quite come out at that that harsh of an angle so what I'm gonna do is go over top of this with this value and I'm gonna adjust this so I'm gonna kind of speed run I got a couple minutes here and see how far I can get so this actually comes a little bit closer like that. This value in between that arm is actually quite a bit darker. And um, I'm going to take a break just for a second and we'll take a couple quick glances. I'm going back and forth and I'm noticing I've actually got to get this to be quite a bit darker uh, if I'm looking at my value range here. So this will be quite a bit darker back here. value in the ground as well. This interior is actually quite a bit darker. Gonna make some marks here. Adjust a few of these things here. So all of this I'm actually gonna have to adjust as well. This table is really tricky. I keep coming back to this thing. Here we go. This is actually quite a bit darker as well, so I'm gonna get some darker value. See how far I can get. I got about 30 seconds to wrap this up with this sort of speed round here. I'm gonna blast that in there. Gonna get this, get this to be a little darker. Making quick marks just to kind of place these things and then I can go in here in my next video and adjust all these little things I'm noticing now. Um, but I like to try to challenge myself in this way. 
get these things uh, in here as accurate as I can. So we're coming up here. I think we're just a little over 10 minutes. Um, but that's roughly uh, kind of where we are with this additive and subtractive uh, method right now. So I'm going to, in our next video, tighten up and uh, we're going to take a closer look uh, at this painting and then we're going to continue to use pencil and charcoal as well.